the last candle before the move, right? The last candle before the move is an order block. You're gonna find this at supply zones and demand zones, guys. Now we're talking about a level of confluence, a level that will influence the markets. All right, so what are we covering here? We call it, we're covering order blocks and we are covering um, levels that the market will continue to respect. You see, a lot of guys don't understand this, but you see, you trade the smaller time frames. And you see, like I said yesterday, when you are trading the smaller time frames, you are trading the way your retail traders are trading, right? Because they moving with massive momentum, you're moving with those little pullbacks, you know, the, the little the little pullback and then and then the push up and then and then another pullback and then the push up where they moving from A to B. You're moving from A and then moving up and then get a retracement and, and then retracement and they moving from this level to that level a level of support to resistance supply to demand i hope everybody understands this so again let's go back what's an order block an order block is i'm going to say this again the last candle before the move to the upside, right? So that is a bullish order block, right? Before the bulls take over, they saying, listen guys, we don't go below this level. At this level is, that's it. We stop at this level, this is the order block blocking off orders. Anything that comes into the market, we don't accept. You cannot place orders, right? They're basically saying, you cannot place orders once we've placed an order block because we're blocking off orders. All orders that come into the market will be blocked off. That will then become liquidity. We will then come back and pick those up. But for now, but for now, we are stopping any orders from coming into the market. We've cut off all orders. You understand? It's like a bank saying, listen, after five, we don't, um, we don't do immediate withdrawals. All immediate withdrawals are cut off. That's basically what they're saying. All orders are cut off. Anybody who decides to place an order, right? Anybody who decides to place an order, it will be a pending order. That order will not go up. Hence, the market continues to come down to a certain level to pick up those orders. Because those orders, right, came in late. Those orders didn't go up with the rest of the orders. So what happens is, those guys who took the market, who took their orders up, might have had orders at the bottom, so they come down to pick up those orders before going back up. Because their orders, right, were not placed. I hope everybody understands this. So that is an order block. The last candle before the move. Listen to this again. The last candle before the move. That's the order block, right? In most cases, you'll see it as a hammer or, um, What's the other word? What's the other word for this? A, um, uh, what? Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. But anyway, um, I can't think of the word. Sorry, guys. But yeah, a form of a hammer or, or something of that sort is an order block. So they come down and then you see this massive wick, a massive wick, orders that were not taken up, orders that were left untouched, orders that were not triggered. Right? And who's there? The banks are there, the institutions are there, but you as retail traders are there, waiting for the market to come back down. And then what happens? The market comes back down, they get triggered, and then what happens? They push slightly lower, 
just to know that your stops are also taken out. And then the market goes up. When they come back to that order block, you must know that that order block will be broken because they will create a new order block. Right. So, guys, an order block is the last candle before the next move. That's an order block. What is an order block? It's a, it's a block of of whatever you want to call it, you can call it concrete, you can call it whatever, where they block orders off completely. No orders are now allowed into the market. All right, so I'm gonna put comments on and I want everybody to just comment if you understand what I'm talking about and then we'll go further. All right, so let me just uh, turn on commenting. Right, great. Um, Let's see. All right, comments are back on, so everybody can start commenting and let's see. Um, did everybody understand what I was talking about? Did everybody understand that? Did everybody get the memo? So now I'm gonna show you an order block in practice. Practical work. Um, let's go to where there was an order block, right? So here, let's zoom in. Um, right, so. Let's zoom in. Right. All right. Everybody understand? Can I go back? Can I go back to the charts? Guys, don't, don't jump in with fibs and all of this. We're not talking about that. We're talking about order blocks today. Right, so I'm gonna get back into it. All right, let's go. Turn off commenting. All right, guys, so here we are again. Right, back to the charts. This, this over here, that over there, this candle right over here, That's an order block. Everybody understand? So they blocked orders, so nothing would go below this level. Everybody with me? Nothing would go below that level. No matter who pushed the market down, orders were stopped. Nothing went in after that level. When price closed, no more orders were allowed to go in. That was the order block. The move, right? The last candle before the move. That was the move. The last candle before the move. Everybody with me? All right, so. What is an order block? That's an order block. That there is a influential level. Why? Because there is so much orders and liquidity at that level that the market must come back down to pick up. So what's gonna happen? The market will bounce off this level as they have over there. We can see a lot of rejection happening. They should then bounce off and come back down to collect those orders all right so guys i hope everybody understands this what is an order block it is the last candle before the initial move all right 
I'm going to say this again. The last candle before the initial move. So basically what these guys are saying is, listen, we have now decided that nothing and nobody can place orders any longer. We are now heading up. We are now heading up. Right. Now, if you look over here, right, if you look over here, there you can see an order block right over there. Right over there. That's a bearish order block. The last candle before the drop. The last candle before the drop. What's happening at that order block? Look at that, guys. The market has been blocked off. They can't go any higher than that order block. Do you understand how important these order blocks are? So that order block, right, was to the downside. So what do you think is happening over here? They're going to bounce off from that order block. I don't see them breaking that order block. You understand what I'm talking about here, guys? So that's an order block that I don't see them breaking, and that should be a bounce to the downside, back to where that order block started. So that was the start of the order block, and that's the end of the order block. All right, I'm going back to comments. Let's see. Everybody understand what I'm talking about? All right, let's go. Um... We all understand what's going on here. Guys, don't ask me what the best time frame is. Does everybody understand? Order blocks on all time frames, guys. It's the last candle before the move. A five minute chart, the last candle before the move. That level will be relevant. It's as simple as that. That level will be relevant. You will see movement happening at that level, whether it's a five minute chart, a 15 minute chart, 31 hour, four hours, daily, weekly, whatever. An order block will be respected. It's a level of confluence. They will not go higher than a certain level if they've created a block, an order block. And they won't go lower as we saw when they've created a lower block. That's an order block. I hope I'm making sense. I'm even confusing myself here a little. But yes. Does everybody understand this? This person's an idiot saying that I'm teaching you support and resistance. Where did I ever mention support and resistance? Some order blocks, some order blocks are actually not even at a level. Before a level becomes support or resistance, supply or demand, an order block is created, but an order block isn't created at every support and resistance level. So no, it's not me teaching you support and resistance. It's me teaching you levels that the market will respect. Hence, it creates a order block, blocking off orders.
Yeah, that's why most of you guys can't even trade. A lot of these guys with their funny comments can't even trade. Don't even know what I'm talking about. How to identify an order block. It's not about them pushing my buttons. It's me going out of my way to teach you guys something and make you make fun of it. That's what it's about. I go out of my way to help you guys and you guys don't take it seriously. So how do you identify an order block? An order block is the last candle before the move. So it's the last candle before the next move. Right? And that would be a, um, a bullish water block. And then from above, it's the last candle before the drop. That's an order block. So, guys, the market will continue to respect order blocks as it is over here. You can see over here. So, this over here, that over there was the last candle, the last candle before the drop. And this was the last candle before the buy. And because there's an order block, there's so much rejection at this level because they're not going to break this level but rather bounce off it to the downside. Everybody understand? No, it doesn't always move to the previous order block, but order blocks are respected, guys. Order blocks are respected. As I showed you before, if you look at where, 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 before order blocks were even created, right? Before order blocks were even created, you can see over here, right? If we look over here, um, if we look over there, So we can see that buyers and sellers started doing business at that level, right? So buyers and sellers started doing business at that level, and then what happened? The last candle, look at that, the last candle before the up movement was respected to the T. It came back, the last candle, right? The last candle before the down move was respected. So what I'm telling you guys is that everything plays a role together. It all works hand in hand. But where did it start? That contraction phase. Again, what happened? We had a contraction phase over there. The last candle before the move to the upside was a contraction, was, was, was a um, order block. Big order block, but 
what I'm saying is that if you look over here, the last candle before the down movement was respected. Respected again. That candle over there before the down movement was respected. But where did this all start? Where did it all begin? Right over there where, where they started doing business. That's where it all began. So, I hope everybody understands that everything goes hand in hand. Everything goes hand in hand. So you get the contraction where business started and you will see that everybody, everything else falls into place. Everything else then starts to fall into place. You start seeing that order blocks get created at these levels. Where business began. Where business started taking place is where the market will continue to come back to. Because why? That's where it all began. I hope everybody got some insight on this. Everybody learned something. Um, keep looking at that level. That level will hold because um, it's 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 a basic. It's it's basically the institutions blocking off anybody trying to get into the market to push the market up. That level will hold. See, and it's not a level of support. Oh no. You see, the order block is just slightly higher where stops were. So the market came up to take those stops and then it fell. So they blocked orders where those stops were. That was not a level of support, nor resistance, or whatever you want to call it. Do you understand? So it's not support and resistance, it's order blocks. It's levels where there was a demand for liquidity. So I hope I helped everybody. I hope everybody takes what they've learned and uh, learned and um, goes and back tests it and um, becomes profitable. I mean, that's what this is about. Understand? Um, so I think I'm done here. Everybody understands what an order block is and um, yeah, unfortunately guys, I don't save the videos because a lot of the people cut out um, what I'm saying or what I'm showing and they start selling that material. Um, I've seen it. Um, there's a YouTube channel. I didn't even create the YouTube channel. Um, there's a YouTube channel out there and um, I didn't even create a YouTube channel and this a lot of my stuff is there. So yeah, a lot of people are benefiting and um, I don't appreciate it, especially without my concern. So unfortunately no videos are saved because people go and sell my context. Um, so yes, I hope everybody learned something and I hope everybody goes out there and um, takes what I taught, puts it into action and let's all go and make money, man. All right. Anyway, I'm out. Take care. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are all profitable this week. All right.